everyone! Today's video is super super exciting for me because I started a new chapter on my YouTube channel. Uh, in one of the videos uh, that I posted recently, I said that uh, for this semester I was not on YouTube because I prepared for the German exam. And I passed Goethe Zertifikation 1. Uh, I'm super excited and that's why I want to start helping other people preparing for this exam. Uh, I don't say that I know German perfectly because probably if I knew German perfectly I would pass uh, Z2 or I will get 100 out of 100 in Goethe Zertifikation 1. Uh, but I prepared for the exam and I passed it and that's why I, I'm, I'm always very excited to share the process of preparation, how I did it to help other people also achieve their goals. Uh, so in this video I mostly wanted to talk about my way to go to Zertifikation, why I learned German, uh, why I have chosen, chosen this exam and actually why I decided to start making videos about the preparation for this exam. Uh, yeah, so this video will be like an introduction to this whole big section. I hope it will, uh, I will actually shoot it and I will actually start giving advice, uh, uh, start giving advice and start helping you and start sharing my experience. So yeah, I actually got the certificate. I, when I watched videos of other people, they didn't show some information here. So uh, I'm not sure whether I should show it or not. But yeah, I will just tell you in general that this is certificate and uh, I got 70 or 76 of, out of uh, 100. Um, I got um, 18.5 out of 25 for reading, 15.5 uh, uh, for listening, each part is 25 maximum. Uh, for writing I got uh, 19 and for speaking 23. And I started to prepare for this exam. Actually, I will tell you the whole story. So uh, my way to German uh, and with German. I started learning German at school, but I actually don't remember anything from this school because I had German at the, I think it was fifth grade. And then I changed school, changed the school. And the program there for German was completely different, it was hotter, and then I had this gap, and then I didn't learn German at all, and I think uh, at the ninth grade I hated it even, I even hated it, funny that everything I hate then is something that I like, but yeah, it doesn't matter, uh, and I didn't have German at the 10th and 11th grade, uh, we had strange uh, program but anyway so from the school i didn't remember a lot probably some words or phrases and then we traveled a lot with my family to germany we we visited berlin uh munchen uh, and um, leipzig nuremberg uh, and other cities uh, i don't remember a lot some of them were small uh, and some of them i visited when i was a little girl I had this, I started to have a desire to learn German. I did not know where it came from, probably from traveling, probably from something else, but it, it was just inner desire. And during the pandemic, when we had lockdown here in Russia, it was May, 2020, I started learning German on my own. And I was very surprised that it, it uh, went so well because usually it seems to me when you start learning the language on your own in a week or two or maximum month it the process is stopped and you say oh great <laughs> so it, it's hard to motivate yourself it's hard to learn the language from the very beginning on your own but it went perfectly i think and i learned german on my own 
uh, for the whole from May and for the whole summer I uh, watched videos I read uh, some books about grammar I uh, started to listen to German songs and try to understand them and learn so it was just these baby steps but uh, it was a good starting point and then I took uh, German for beginners one at my university during the first semester and I didn't learn a lot of new things there i think uh, i took it mostly to make sure that uh, i didn't miss anything in grammar and i also learned uh, new vocabulary in different areas like restaurants shopping etc so it was useful from this perspective and then during and then i understood that yeah actually i i love german and uh, then during the next semester i wanted to take german for beginners too but the group was not uh, formed and uh, i understood that i don't want to lose the result that i already have and i want only to improve it and the result back then was like a1 a2 maximum uh yes and i also by the way played duolingo during the first semester and during summer and uh, it helped me a lot it's uh, Probably not a perfect uh, app from the perspective of grammar, but it gives you a lot of phrases and words and you uh, start understanding more than you could. And also there is, a, um, there is a feeling of competition and we started to play uh, this game uh, with my friend. So it was, you know, like, oh, I have a str um, strike for 20 days, for 30 days, etc and then you start playing because you don't you want to play more and more and more so this uh, kind of game it's very useful also for yourself for for you as well uh yeah and during the second semester i understood that the group was not formed so i started to look for the tutor and i found a good tutor she is russian but she lives in germany and we started to talk with her i remember our first uh, uh, meeting at skype uh, uh, she started to talk with me in german and i couldn't even say properly like hello my name is lisa i'm, I'm studying there and there and i'm 19 years old and uh, blah 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 just say about myself something about myself and it was I think the beginning of February 2021, so it was this year. Uh, but we continued to have two classes per week. And uh, yeah, I started to, to read in German with her. I started to listen in German with her, to listen German with, to learn German with her. Uh, I started to watch series during summer or even earlier during spring. Uh, and it was everything was faster than with English. I think with English I waited for a long time uh, till I could read and listen to videos and series and understand. Uh, probably it's because we studied in, in, in at school at, and it goes a little bit different because we study for a long time and only then after 11 years you can use English and with German it was a little bit different and also I started to learn directly with the tutor and it was different in a way that I just spoke a lot and grammar and all other things and vocabulary they came uh, when I needed so to say I didn't learn it like here is the topic okay let's learn everything uh, yeah and during summer I worked here in Russia but I worked uh, in the company where I also use German and actually I had my first conversation with a native speaker uh, it was a little bit stressful because I didn't have uh, so great German back then uh, I could speak I could understand mostly but uh, it was very like this uh, it was hard to explain things so i think uh, the way i spoke sounded like this um but yeah uh, i practiced german a little bit during the practice uh, the internship during summer and then at the end of august i understood 
I probably understood it earlier. Uh, I would like to go to have my exchange in Germany and actually I hope that I will be able to do, I'm sure that I will be able to do a double degree program in Germany. That's why I need German. I will feel more comfortable with this language at the, in the country and it will be easier for me to find work. And I understood that, yeah, probably it's time to pass the exam. Uh, it will also uh, it will I will benefit from it anyway, and it will uh, help me to learn the language. Um, and at the end of August, uh, I started to look for the new tutor because with the one that we had, she didn't actually prepare for the exams, mostly everyday ta talks and etc. Um, and uh, I thought at first to pass the exam B two uh, for B two. Uh, but then my tutor said, and I thought that, yeah, probably C1, B2 doesn't give you a lot of opportunities and C1 is good enough. Um, yeah, so I started to prepare for it, uh, for this exam at the uh, beginning, uh, in the beginning of September. I first I started to prepare for it with the Russian tutor, but it was horrible. And then I started to prepare for it with a native speaker. And it actually motivated and encouraged me a lot because I had to speak only in German. Uh, yeah, and uh, about the preparations, I will speak later in other videos and here it's just mostly the story. I didn't want it to be too boring, too boring. For three months, I prepared with this tutor and uh, on the 10th of December, I had the exam and I passed it and I'm super happy when I understand that this difference, when at the beginning of this year, I couldn't even introduce myself normally and now I passed the exam for uh, C1 I'm super super happy and I love German so much and I love that I can understand and I can communicate with other people uh, also during the semester I communicated a lot with German I'm so pleased I'm so happy that I actually had this opportunity because then the language uh, the the learning of the language uh, proceeds much faster and now I'd like to talk more exactly about why I chose this uh, exam and why I decided to start making the videos, shooting the videos about the preparation for a good certificate. Uh, there are a lot of different exams like OSD, certificate, uh, test stuff is, is one of the most famous ones. Uh, TELC uh, and Goethe certificate. Uh, I chose it for different reasons. Firstly, TESDAF, uh, it, ha it uh, takes place only five times per year and the date was not comfortable for me. Uh, it uh, was uh, like November and I was sure that I would, would not be able to prepare for it in two months. Uh, and for Goethe Certificate, it was comfortable because it was December, I had more time. Also, I was able to pass uh, this exam uh, in uh, Moscow in comparison, for example, to TELC that uh, takes place only uh, in Germany. Also, C1 is accepted in many German universities and just in general, I decided to pass this exam because it will give me points when I enroll to my exchange period or double de degree program in Germany. It will, I think, help me to find a job uh, in Germany and uh, what else, what else? Uh, I will be able to take German courses at the university that I'm going to study in Germany and also um, I will just be able to speak German. <laughs> and also I think when you prepare for the exam, it, it's such a great booster for your learning for the learning of the language because you start reading uh start reading text start watching things start listening to podcasts uh on the themes that you would never listen just simply in 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 your life so yeah it was a great booster and uh, my german improved a lot during this period of time and why I decided to do this video is firstly because when I try to find uh, videos about good certificate signs on YouTube, uh, there were not a lot of them, firstly. Secondly, there was uh, 
little uh, advice and uh, little useful tips. Uh, there were only few useful tips. There were, there were only a few examples uh, or cliches or like the actual tips, how you can prepare for the exam. Uh, so I was very surprised uh, and I was even a little bit disappointed because I wanted to find more. Uh, but I didn't uh, and I want to help others who prepare now and to make this videos so that uh, you will understand a little bit more better how the exam is arranged and how it's better to prepare, which things you can do, at least that helped me. Uh, and also another reason is that mostly the videos were either in Russian or, or Spanish or the language of the country uh, that the pers where the person lives uh, or when they were in English there were again not many videos about this uh, exam. So that's actually it. I think this video again is a little bit longer than I expected, but I'm super excited when I talk about it, when I talk about German, when I talk about preparations for something, and when I talk about the tips and advice for other people uh, to help them to achieve this goal, to pass this exam. I'm super excited that I talk probably a little bit more than I want. <laughs> so yeah, that's actually it. Let's proceed further with this videos. I will devo devote one video to one theme uh, so that we can step by step uh, understand better uh, how to prepare for this exam, how to pass it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I, I hope it was interesting and see you later.